Yes! Yes, it's happened! Guys, welcome back to DZ channel. And this is... Yes, it's back. Retro Machine is back. Retro Machine Omega Edition 512 gigabytes. The very last and newest... Newest? It's newest award, I don't know. New! New image for the Raspberry Pi 4. It's uh, it's also works on the PI 400 and 4 4 gigabyte and also 80 gigabyte models no problem it's fully compatible and this is the last iteration for the PI 4 the very final image the the third and um, 512 gigabyte retro machine image released for the PI 4 the third and new image with all new feature, new enhancement, it's based on all fixes of the previous retro machine which was released six months ago. So um, keep attention if you see the retro machine on uh, websites uh, different than my Discord channel. It's an old retro machine and I'm not sure if it's altered, I don't know. If you want the very new, the updated, the best version of Retro Machine is there. It's called it Omega Edition. There's not Omega around because I don't have time to change the graphic uh, compared to the old Retro Machine because I'm focused on features, okay? You just can recognize this with the VIP credits video which is included and you can access when you want. And uh, it's um, I'm obliged to show this fantastic video that I made only for my VIP. All the people that made this happen. This is not uh, the weekend image uh, uh, of your joy. This is uh, a lifetime image. You will keep this forever because this is refined to heavenly level. Okay, and. Uh, all it's happened also thanks to all these people which believed in me so I am so proud of all these people that you see and this is a video that you can uh, access when you want and if this video is included you are sure this is the Omega version which was called previously VIP edition because I decided to release uh, a re-release of the Retro Machine 512 only for VIP and all the, with uh, all the enhancement, all the fixes suggested uh, uh, also by uh, the VIP which helped me on daily basis on Discord channel and you should too if you see this video for the first time, I just uh, prompt you to join my Discord channel. You can see the invite on the description and video. Retro Machine. And uh, you will be part of this great community. Just remember to join the VIP program to to have uh, a superior level of support and contact with us and also to have access to all my works included that one it's important to say retro machine <laughs> okay yeah i'm very excited because um, the image is already available on my server on private server so if you join the VIP program you will be able to get this image from private server no I don't know not shady phones no not 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 warning not um, not harm for you you just get this image from trusty personal private server I managed all of that so you are covered, okay. And this is the one and only image, genuine image you can get. But uh, 
let's see together all the fish all the fisher of course i skip let's uh, volumes too high okay let's um, uh, let's skip the, the the full option of retropie you know this image is based on the very very <coughs> last version of retropie and um, excuse me a moment I'm back in a minute I'm back. And sorry for the interruption. So um, this is based on the last version of RetroPie, and all is updated. the The OS is updated. the The RetroArch is updated. It's all new. Updated from the repository, but you can also update by yourself. Just uh, uh, ask me before update anything because I will guide you to how to update this image because it's very easy to break RetroPie and RetroArch unfortunately so let's see the um, together the exclusive option of Omega hello defense alert alert Defense Peak Configuration, Egon 1. This is an option only for um, owners of uh, the Argon 1 case. This image is configured around this case. It's the official case supported by this image. So if, I, if you have an, an Argon 1 case, you are basically set. You can use uh, this image to the extreme because the Argon 1 case is just the best case for the PI4, hands down. And with the script, remember, you see the icon on the upper right. You need a USB keyboard to manage the script. And uh, there you can change the fan speed. And, the, and the you can set a threshold uh, where you decide when the, the fan have to kick in. Because this is a passive case, aluminum case. But it also have an optional fan that starts when you need so move on flip genesis mega drive uh, there you can change the icons for the mega drive and the snes it's just for our friends usa friends or uh, european friends because you know uh, the mega drive is called is called mega drive on europe and usa and uh, is called uh, Genesis in USA Mega Drive in Europe, Genesis in USA and also Japan Mega Drive Japan The SNES USA and Europe are the same name have the same name but but uh, the, the lines change the the the, um, the console is different uh, Different chassis, okay, so just change the the the, um, the logo and graphic cards uh, of your choice and preference okay hdmi mode if you have some uh, issues with audio it can happen on some configuration you can enable the hdmi mode and it should fix the problem but uh, of course if everything works like should just leave um, forget this option the joystick selection this is useful if you have more than one uh, controller gamepad to assign to different users if you have if you have only one controller just forget this option it's not needed to touch anything there but if you have uh, many controllers even that in the, you have to set many players this will be useful for you the magic cleaner is one of the most advanced uh, script that I made for the retro machine and uh, you have to use this very careful but I want to show anyway let's skip the instruction I just um, uh, describe everything and so there's no surprise for you you have uh, uh, everything on paper but I will just uh, explain you 
you have basically five options. Just remember the first the third option had to be used only on very warning scenario. It means your uh, your unit, your image doesn't work like it should. So you can try to uh, repair uh, deleting the retro configuration, but you don't have to by the phone because I made a lot of custom configuration for this image. So if you use this option, you will delete those configurations. So it's not uh, suggested to use those. The first I will show you, but go, don't go there. I repeat, if you don't have issue. With the first option you have, uh, you can select a specific system where you can delete configuration. With the second option, you will delete all regardless of. And, and with the third option, you will reset all the configuration for all emulators. I repeat, lot of emulators have custom configuration. So you, if you reset the configuration, you will lose everything. You will lo um, don't worry for the emulator. You will you don't lost the emulator or games. You lost the configuration of emulator. So I repeat, use this only if you are extremely needed. You ask why I show you those and then tell you do not use it. Because uh, there's some scenario where those options may be helpful. So it's, it's good to have available. But you don't have to use it if you don't need it. The 4 or 5 option you can use this those there there's no problem reset video modes is basically will reset the video modes if you have set some uh, custom uh, resolution and uh, it's uh, all over the place and you don't remember when when where you change it with this option all will be back to uh, default value so will be back reverted to the 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 resolution that you have to put to your PI. In that case, I have my full HD. Clean GOS file, and I will use this. This is an uh, interesting uh, option to delete the GOS files. What are the GOS files? Are uh, hidden files that uh, are created when you copy files from uh, PC to the PI, for example. Those uh, hidden files can take space, so with this option you can delete all these obnoxious files so I suggest use the 4 and 5 option with not warning but be very careful with 1, 2 and 3 ok so the music player is another great uh, script that I made that allow you to skip between Choose between two different type of soundtrack. You see that the default soundtrack is a um, an original soundtrack made for this image, based on cyberpunk synthwave style. But if you prefer some more traditional, uh, like uh, uh, remix of classic uh, music uh, music themes, you can change from the script. I will not. Uh, um, let you hear the BGM remix because there's some uh, tune which is copyrighted so I don't want uh, issues with YouTube and uh, you can also change uh, uh, the way the visual player you see there's a pop-up on the right upper screen with the show you the, the, um, the name of the track that will be played like in that case, you see Carl Casey lost in space. You can disable this pop-up, you can change the color, and you can also change the scale, also change the, the shape. You can change the fade, you can change uh, after what seconds the pop-up will disappear. And you can also change the internal volume of the BGM play, which is different than than the output volume, okay? 
Open Ball Manager. Okay, many of you ask me why when you start Open Ball have um, a little window on the on the um, corner of the screen. It's because the Open Ball by default just works like that. You have to configure with a USB keyboard. You have to change the resolution, screen size, screen ratio controller you have to set everything with a, a USB keyboard it's a little obnoxious to be honest so I've made this uh, script that set for you the controller and the screen assume you have one of controller supported by the script like for example DualShock 4 the 8B2 um, M30 the old uh, controller Xbox controller so 361 series the Super Nintendo controller the Mega Drive controller and that's it if you have other controller than those you you am I'm sorry you have to set by your own with a USB keyboard but if you have one of, of those five controller you can uh, use the script and the script will set all for you and I've improved a little the script um, adding uh, digital and analog analog controller. It uh, it means only for the DualShock 4 and uh, the uh, Xbox controller because those are the the analog st analog stick. Okay. So you can decide if you want to use Open Board with the analog analog stick or the D pad. The D pad is more on the spirit. Of the open board games, but you prefer an analog, there's no problem. In that case, I will set DualShock for digital, so you will uh, will be mapped on the D-pad. And we'll see later. Overscan is if you if you see some black border around your screen you can use the overscan remember when you first boot the image you have to configure your controller it will be prompted with a window to configure your controller okay then I suggest to go on recipe config and change the layout of your keyboard because uh, I always read image with uh, English um, layout of uh, the the keyboard if you want a different country layout you have to set it to raspy conf and remember this image can be burned on uh, SD card or even on uh, also on external HD if you want to burn image and run image from an external HD you can reset controller this is uh, to to reset all controller that are um, set on your system when you i repeat when you boot the first time the system have not controller so you have to configure your controller and the configuration of the control will be saved in the system if you want to delete that just use this script but remember when you reboot the the, the system it will prompt you again to configure a new control logical normal retro pie option i will skip that the setup, the setup is important because there you can update the OS, you can update the emulator, you can update uh, pretty every, everything. But I repeat, you have to ask me first on the Discord channel every change you made because uh, you are, are touching uh, uh, the, the the heart of Retro Machine. I I allow you allow you to change those things but uh, is they may be dangerous okay you are free to change what you want i am fine with this uh, philosophy but uh, you have to know what to do so ask me first the save state manager this is a script i made because uh, it's simple guys you can um, save uh, you can use the save states on the retro arc it means you can say when you want during the game assume the, the emulator uh, support the, the, the option the function but uh, those save states just remain on your system and uh, takes 
takes space and uh, may be not compatible anymore if you update the emulator. So the only way to access to those files is through the file manager which is included but you have to know the paths. So the idea was to make the script to delete for you the, all the save states related to specific system. You see the list is long because there are uh, 50, 50 systems included in the retro machine image. It's a multi-system purpose image, you know. But you see the last option is called delete all save states. If you just want to delete everything with this option, will wipe out all the save states. So be careful uh, even on that. It's a, a powerful tool. And now guys, this is the most important uh, script that I made for, for the Retro Machine family. It was called before Bezel Manager, but now it's called Screen Manager. And this is very great because uh, it's a game changer. Through this script uh, you can change uh, the bezel. You can assign performance scan line. You can change the ratio of the screen. You can en enable the widescreen mode, and you can enable or disable the bilinear filtering. So, lot of power on your hand. The first option you change to systems overlay. It means every system will be will have its own overlay with arts related to the system, different for every system. The scan lines overlay, in that case, and it's the default condition, it's a, a same model overlay assigned for every system with performance scan line added. Turn on overlays or turn off. For the first time, you can turn off completely overlays directly from the script. Example, if you have a cab, uh, the overlays are issues for you because uh, surely you have uh, a four third ratio screen so it's uh, convenient for you to turn off overlays and you can do now so this is a very friendly image for for the arcade cabs bro uh, unlike before this time the the omega it's a friendly image for the cabs but we will see later other things related specifically to the four third caps turn on widescreen and turn off you have to disable overlays first because the image will be stretched to the widescreen ratio if you have a 69 monitor or tv of course and you have to disable overlays otherwise it will be overlap the screen so you can play full screen if you want the binary filtering you can enable or disable by default it's enabled combine it with the performance scan line and the, the effect is great the binary filter will make a softer image if you disable you have a more rough image and uh, i'm glad that some of you already tested this combination and very like the the bilinear combined with um, uh, the performance scan lines. Speed modes, the, the whole loved uh, overclock modes. By default, the image is, is set uh, on uh, default values, which is uh, uh, 1500 megahertz for the CPU. But you can change to um, um, 1705 megahertz which is the turbo mode 1800 for the ultra mode 1900 for the extreme mode and uh, over 2000 megahertz for the omega mode which is the more extreme so what is the speed uh, for you you have to decide it depends by your setting if you have uh, a fanless pi just uh, don't do not use any of them because uh, uh, otherwise your CPU will melt just stick to the default value if you have an active fan so you can uh, uh, choose between turbo ultra or extreme and also Omega mode there's no problem because the fan will keep the PI cool if you have the argon case which is the only al uh, aluminum passive case uh, 
which can keep the temps of the PI. You can also use the Omega mode. And I will show my because I have already enabled Omega mode. Let's see together. The splash screen is in, it's an option included already on uh, RetroPie. Super Ultra, yes, this is a fantastic uh, option that uh, me and Aurumila created together to improve uh, performance of, and uh, I thanks Aurumila, I will thanks him uh, uh, many times on this image because it, it helped me very much. By default, the emulation station is a little laggy. It's normal because you have a lot of tabs to work, 50 tabs, there's a lot and uh, 20,000 of hours, a massive amount of uh, uh, stuff and asset to manage. So it's a little laggy sometimes, it's normal. To avoid this, we created the uh, Ultra Super Yes. This will improve emulation station performance and it will be smoother looks it's enabled now it's smoother but it is uh, this option will increase further the temps of your pi because it's a little uh, bonus uh, overclock only related to the emulation station okay so same thing if you are under a fan no problem if you are have uh, an argon case no problem because i will show now i have repeat i have an argon one case i have ultra yes and uh, omega mod enable and we will show the temps so basically what's the difference between the super and ultra yes the Super Yes only involve uh, emulation station, so if you enable the Super Yes, uh, the performance will improve. If you enable the Ultra Yes, even some uh, emulator will run better because this uh, this option involve uh, both emulation station and some emulator. So you decide if you want all to the max, just enable Ultra Yes. System info will show many parameters of your. You see the, the Argon One case, like you can see the temps, you can see the clock of your CPU. Just uh, uh, check there uh, often, often to be sure that temps of your PI must be good. Remember, if you're under overclock, you have to add the uh, ten, um, ten to the value. For example, if we have 50 degree of temps on this uh, system option, system info, and uh, you are under omega speed, you basically are a 60 degree. So is so is more. You have to stick around uh, not more than 50 if you are around uh, 60 and 70. It's not good. Uh, your PI it's too hot. Tamer randomizer, there, there are 30 different teams including this image. By the full, it's the, the cyberpunkish team. But you can choose between many teams. If you want to have reboot a different team, just enable this option. Otherwise, you can change uh, themes there. You see this neon purple but I repeat, we are 30 different teams. Okay, video output, this is important. This is a script to, ch to change the output resolution of the PI. Uh, before you can only change between Full HD, so 1080p, HD ready mode and 720p. But now you can change also to 480p, which is the CRT mode, so you can skip to a four-third CRT output. If you have a cab, for example, this, this time, for the first time, you can uh, in output your PI to a four-third ratio. And for uh, those of you that ask, uh, but I am bound to 
so low resolution like for 480p no you can change the resolution for every emulator separately you can change the resolution you want this is only involved emulation station and the last value is the default output if you want to back to the default output of your pi for example if you have a four four uh, k monitor it's um, convenient to use automatic mode just remember 4k output it's a little taxing for the the pi the VIP credits video already show the wi-fi there you can add your credential of your provider of your network if you want to connect your internal wi-fi and connect to the to the to the net of course so i show you all the the new option for the retro machine omega and we see together the combination of balaner filtering and uh, performance can line with the final fight of course you see the image is smoother and there's also the performance can lights not only now uh, controls are, are also mapped the, the full uh, both the d-pad and the left analog stick may be useful so you see the image is great is soften but uh, it's not too blurry because the performance can line helps a little the combination it's killer And that's the new um, bezel, bezel with the logo because uh, you asked for a branding and uh, so there's a branding. Now the, 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 the bezel shows the Retro Machine logo. I think it's pretty elegant and uh, still not uh, too distracting. And another thing I want to show, I'm sure you will appreciate, all the, the ratio are preserved. For example, if you use a handle, the ratio is different, like um, the Game Boy Color, for example. So the bezel is different to, to stick it to the original ratio, so it's not uh, properly 430. You see, the bezel is bigger. So there's many models of the bezel to fit the different ratio. Let's see, the Game Boy Advance also have a different ratio. I know you, you care about the ratio, I care too. The detail, the detail. You see, the bezel is little. And uh, some obscure system like Lynx. In that case, the ratio is gigantic and uh, you see that the bezel will be very, very tiny. You see, tiny. So, okay, let, let's see together the, the, the team because this video is uh, uh, merely based on option and uh, just uh, those things i will record more videos when you show uh, the, the, the the emulator and some games this is a uh, focus on option well let's see this is a very uh, well loved team so i've decided to make this team as um, a distinctive <sighs> style of retro machine Okay, you uh, you might see two games on the favorite tab. This was uh, my mistake. You can delete those just pressing uh, Y button on your controller. You will remove these uh, two entries. Then you um, restart the emulation station, and uh, you restart the emulation station, and it will be gone.
MSDS is back I know you love it on my previous uh, showcase I announced it that was removed but not anymore because uh, I managed to put it back so it's better to have it compared to a DLC okay the gigantic PS1 set the Japanese uh, uh, console are his own tabs or standalone there's so many stuff to show on this image and we'll do on the next video so and you also have the um, mystery random mode if you press select uh, uh, on the main screen you start uh, the fantastic uh, uh, video screen saver by Franco Franchi and if you press start during this sequence you will start a random game you see if you want the system pick for your random game you can many 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 things to to talk about this image and uh, I will do there's not rush but the most important thing is that the image is available on my discord server so the only thing you have to do is to join the discord server and then join my VIP program because I repeat for the another time I repeat this image like all my works it's private not public so if you want uh, to help me with a donation I will reward you with my commitment just remember the supreme quality of this image I'm a very I'm critic with my works but uh, I recognize this this, this work is is gorgeous and uh, always work like intended also tested just remember to have this level of quality and polishness uh, the passion is not enough enough uh, more help is needed and in that case uh, even donation help it to improve this work to buy no new equipment to buy cloud space to share image with you so it's important to help me with a donation if you are not interested we are st still friend like before but um, I prefer to keep this my works private with a trusty user that helped with me also with donation so this is my philosophy and uh, I hope you you agree with there's nothing more to say just uh, the image is out and it's beautiful and you have also have to got it so we catch up on the next video guys thanks for follow me and uh, bye bye